Hello, I'm Chris Holmstrom and this is the rundown. A deadly fire ripped through a Sherman Oaks apartment early this morning. One person and a dog were found inside the unit after crews put out the flames. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Traffic is back to normal on the 101 after a deadly crash through Woodland Hills. One person was killed after a car crashed down an embankment near Topanga Canyon Boulevard. And millions in settlement money to help make up for the Huntington Beach oil spill. If approved, $50 million will be split between affected fishermen, homeowners, and business owners. 25,000 gallons of oil went into the ocean last October after Amplify Energy's pipeline ruptured. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. Amber. Hi there. Happy Wednesday. So the countdown begins and that's because we are getting closer and closer to the end of the year. So just in case you're counting, we're about 12 days into Halloween, 18 until the end of daylight saving, meaning we fall back and then Thanksgiving 36 days away. And then just in case you want to know about Christmas, we're about 67 days away from Christmas. It feels more like summer though than fall. And that's because we have this high pressure system that's pumping in some weaker offshore winds. So temperatures all around today will be mainly in the 80s and 90s. So I would say your ice beverage, make it a large one. And that's because look at this. We have this heat advisory for portions of Orange County starting at 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. this evening. That means temperatures here could get up to about 96 degrees. So during this time, we could see a little bit more of those heat related illnesses, especially for this time of year, because it's going to be unseasonably hot. And with this high pressure system, we're also looking at the temperatures staying warm until tomorrow, even though we start to cool. We're still going to stay above average and then by the end of the week we have an inside slider coming in from the Pacific Northwest, meaning it's sliding inland to the east of us here in the Southland. It could merge with this cutoff low that's sitting off the coast and this is what's going to bring us much cooler weather for the weekend and then we could even see a chance of rain. So that's something that we're going to continue to watch crossing our fingers that we get something. Uh, today's going to be the warmest of the next seven with a high for the metro areas in the low 90s and then as I mentioned, cooler temperatures, but still above average starting tomorrow. And then we start to see those temperatures slide down to below average territory. So Saturday, there is a chance of some rain possibly. And then by the time we head into Sunday, we're still dealing with cooler than normal conditions. And then by the start of next week, temperatures still remain cooler than normal, but at least a little bit warmer than Saturday. All right, thanks, Amber. Remember, we're always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch us anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Have a great afternoon, everyone.